and we'll be starting from a seated position. And once you've found a comfortable seat, lengthen the spine, allow the hips to root onto the mat, crown of the head to reach towards the ceiling. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. And then from there, close the eyes or bring the gaze down. Just starting to settle in. And then start to connect with your breath. First, just observing what your breath is like. gradually start to lengthen the breaths. Starting to get those fuller inhales emptying out a little bit more on the exhales. We're looking for a relaxed breath a breath that's a little bit deeper than you started with. A breath easily maintained for the next 45 minutes. Try to bring the breath in and out of the nostrils or in through the nostrils and out of the mouth. Once you've found the breath that you feel is easily maintained, take a scan of your body from the crown of the head through the feet, checking in, noticing what's going on, noting any areas that may require modifications or healing or needing caution, keeping those in mind as we go through the practice, really taking care of yourself, nothing in yoga should hurt. So backing out if anything causes pain or discomfort. And take a couple more breaths to set your intention. What brought you to your mat today? How are you gonna move through this practice? And how will you approach the rest of your day? One more inhale with head at center. And on the exhale, drop the chin towards the chest as you lift chest towards chin, lengthening the back of the neck, keeping the shoulders relaxed, letting the head be heavy. Inhale to bring the chin through center towards the ceiling, opening up the front of the neck. If the back of the neck is feeling crunched, drop the chin slightly. Inhale to bring the head back to center. And we'll do a slow motion no, looking over one shoulder, through center, and over the other shoulder. Being mindful not to crank on the neck or force anything, but a gentle, dynamic, warm up of the neck. One more time to each side. And then we'll come back to a center position. And we're gonna open the arms with the palms facing forward, drawing the shoulder blades together, bringing the arms back to the point of sensation. Inhale here, and on the exhale, we're gonna round the back and hug in, noticing which elbow is on top. Inhale, we'll repeat this sequence, opening up. Exhale, seeing if you can switch which elbow is on top. Round the back, hug in. Chin drops towards chest. So we're doing a variation on a seated cat-cow. 
Getting that spinal extension, spinal flexion. Next time you open up the arms, we're gonna add the right leg, bringing it onto the diagonal as you open up, and then bringing it back in as you hug in. So we'll start to alternate legs. So this time left. If you're on a mat or a blanket, a mat rolled up, go ahead and come off of it unless this feels okay. We'll do this a couple more times. One more time on each leg. And then we'll come back to that center position. You can hug in one last time. And then bring the torso up, reach the arms overhead, fingertips come towards the ceiling. And then on the exhale, drop the hands on top of the shoulders for a few elbow circles in one direction. And in the other direction. Coming back to that center position, release the arms, shake out the hands, and grab your strap. And the strap can be folded in half or quarters, depending on how long the strap is. And just be mindful of the buckle, because we're gonna bring this overhead and I just don't want anybody to get clunked with a buckle. Once you've got your strap set up, bring the strap overhead so that the hands are a little bit wider than the shoulders but that there's also a little relaxation. You're just using the strap for a little bit of resistance. And then bring your legs into that wide angle. Putting a little bit of a flex in the feet will help root those legs onto the mat. You want a little bit of softness in the knees. From here, we're gonna take an inhale with our arms at center. And on the exhale, we're gonna come over to the left really activating all the core muscles, the muscles all around the torso, will come over to the right, in the upper legs. And just starting to get that torso stretch on each side, a subtle stretch. If you're finding that as you go side to side, you can go a little bit deeper, feel free to do that as long as the Spine is nice and tall. One more time to each side. And then bring that strap back to center. And we're gonna slowly fold in, just finding that natural stopping point, and then gently dropping the strap down, reaching out with the hands if they can reach the floor. You're welcome to put a bend in the knees, but just getting that little bit of inner leg stretch, groin stretch, little bit of back stretch here. Take one more inhale here, and on the exhale, release everything, bringing yourselves back to a comfortable seated position. You can put the strap off to the side, Drop the shoulders down away from the ears, and we'll do a few circles with the head. Either a full circle, or you can do a half circle if that feels better on the neck. One more circle in this direction. And reverse. One more circle in this direction. And we'll come back to that center position and make your way into a table pose, bringing those wrist creases right under the shoulders. Fingers are spread wide. And from here, we're gonna stagger the knees, bringing that left knee slightly forward, right knee a little bit back. 
relaxing the feet onto the mat, unless the toes are curled under, which is an option. And from here, we'll do our traditional cat cows, lifting head, chest, tailbone. On the exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round the upper back, crown of the head comes towards the mat. And as we're working through this staggered cat, staggered knee cat cow, notice how it can change the sensation in the hips and maybe in the back from our traditional cat cow. And we'll do a right leg forward and then a traditional one, just so you can feel the difference. So we're getting a little more circulation into the spine. Do one more cat, one more cow. And then we'll come back to that neutral position and we'll switch knees, bringing left knee back, right knee forward. And then starting a few more cat cows, dropping the belly, lifting head, chest, tailbone. Also being aware of whether one hip feels tighter in the stagger than the other. One more cat, one more cow with the stagger. And then bring the knees parallel. And before you go into the cat cows, wag the tail, getting that torso stretch. Coming back to a center position. And now we'll do a few traditional cat cows. Dropping the belly, lifting head, chest, tailbone tucking the tailbone under, rounding the back, crown of the head comes towards the mat. One more cat, one more cow. And we'll come back to that neutral table position. And from here, we're gonna extend the right leg out Resting that right foot on the inner edge in line with the right hip. Then walk the hands towards that left knee to bring the torso up. And we're going to reach towards the right foot, swimming that left arm up and over towards the right. Opening up that left side of the body. Take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going to plant that left hand in line with the left knee and lift that right leg up, maybe bringing that right arm towards the ceiling or over that right ear. You can add a little bit of a pulse with that right leg. If you're looking to really engage that right hip, activate it, and then bring that leg to stillness and pendulum swing the leg back and forth a couple times. Bring that leg back to the center, bringing the foot onto the mat, reach that right arm back up and over a little bit further, getting that full body side stretch on the right side. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, release the pose, come back to table, wag the tail, getting that torso stretch, neutralizing the spine. And then we'll do that same sequence on the left side, extending that left leg out, bringing the torso up, reaching for that left leg, sweeping that right arm over towards the left, One more inhale here. And on the exhale, we'll bring that right hand in line with the right knee, lifting that left leg up, maybe sweeping left arm towards the ceiling. And you can add the pulse. Coming back to center, you can add the pendulum swing, trying to keep that left hip still. And then we'll come back to center, gently bringing that left foot onto the mat, sweep that left arm over, 
opening that whole left side of the body. Take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, release that left hand coming back to table. Wag the tail a couple times. And then we'll come back to that neutral table. If you have blocks, we're gonna come into some a hamstring stretch. So you can place the blocks about the first or top third of the mat. And then from here, we'll extend the right leg out, lifting it up, inhale here. And on the exhale, step that right foot through to the hands or maybe placing the hands on the blocks and drop the hips down. Low lunge, feeling that sensation in the left hip flexor. Trying to keep a little bit of length in the spine. Couple more breaths here. On the next inhale, slowly shift the hips back, walking the blocks with you if you choose to come into your hamstring stretch, keeping that micro bend or a little bit of softness in that right knee. You can use the blocks on any setting. You can make this a balance if you choose. You're trying to keep the hips level in line with one another. Take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, go ahead and come through that kneeling position. Move your blocks and we'll come back to table and do that sequence on the other side. Extend that left leg out. Inhale here, exhale, step that foot through to the hands or the blocks, coming into your low lunge on this side. And noticing if on this side you can go a little bit deeper, or maybe that right hip is a little bit tighter. Just bringing some awareness to the hips. Take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, shift the hips back, maybe bringing the blocks with you to come into your hamstring stretch. Little bit of softness in that left knee. Few breaths here. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, plant that right foot bringing it next to the left knee, putting the bend in it, coming back to table. Spread those fingers wide. Think about bringing a little bit more weight in that index finger and thumb, and then curl the toes under. You have the option to hover the knees, pressing the heels back, or just coming right into down dog. That's where we're headed. Once you're in down dog, you can pedal the feet a few times, Pressing the hands firmly into the mat. Alternating bringing knees towards the mat. And then we'll come to a still down dog, bringing the hips up and back. Neck is right in line with the spine, a little bit of a lift in the kneecaps, getting the torso as long as you can. Gently shake your head, yes, and no. Coming back to that still down dog. Inhale to look forward, walk the feet right up to, a, to the hands to come into our first forward fold. Again, softness in the knees, arms are dangling like ragdoll arms. You can sweep the fingertips side to side. And then come back to that center position. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way overhead. Bringing those palms together. Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, come over to one side. Inhale to center and over to, excuse me, over to the other side. Inhale, back to center, drop the palms over the crown of the head. 
keeping the crown of the head coming towards the ceiling. Press the palms together, bringing them towards the ceiling, and then bring them over the heart center. Couple breaths here. <clears throat> One more inhale with fingertips facing up. And on the exhale, flip the fingers down, maybe pulling the wrists apart, keeping the tips together, or pressing the wrists together. Relax the shoulders. Inhale to flip the fingers up. And on the exhale, go ahead and shake out the arms, releasing them along your sides. And come to a neutral stance. We are going to be doing some standing balances. If you like to have a wall or a chair, you're welcome to move to that right now. We're going to come into an almost chair pose. So putting a bend in the knees, sweeping the arms forward and finding your balance here, finding a nice foundation with the feet, arms are out in front. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, bring the hands to the hips. Shift your weight into the right leg, and bring that left ankle on top of the right knee. Try to maintain sitting into the hips. From here, you can keep the hands on the hips. You can bring them over the heart center, or you can come into a square grabbing the opposite elbow. Finding your focal point here, something still to gaze at. Take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, hands come back to the hips. Straighten that right leg and find a home for that left leg or left foot on the right leg. Opening that right knee to the right side of the, sorry, opening the left knee to the left side of the room. Hands can stay on the hips, come over the heart center, come into that Y shape, or you can bring the left hand to the left knee, right arm up and over. Take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, hands come back to the hips, bring that left knee forward, and we're gonna tilt the left foot off to the left, bring it through center and tilt it to the right. And what we're doing here is getting into a little bit of internal and external hip rotation. One more time to each side. And then plant that left foot, shake out that right leg. You can shake out the shoulders, shake out the left leg. And then we'll do that sequence on the other side. Coming into that moderate chair, almost chair pose, finding that good foundation. And then shifting the weight into the left leg, bringing that right ankle on top of the left knee. Trying to keep the hips level, finding your arm position, finding your focal point, keeping the neck and shoulders relaxed. One more inhale here, and on the exhale, press into the left foot, straightening that left leg, coming into tree, right foot finds a home on the left leg. Finding your hand position, arm position, and coming back to your focal point. One more inhale here, and on the exhale, hands come to the hips, right knee comes forward, and we'll do that little bit of windshield wiper with the lower leg to get into the hip. One more time to each side, and then release that right leg, shake the legs out, and then step to the top of the mat. You can keep the hands on the hips. We're gonna come right into warrior three, rooting that left foot down. Bring that right leg behind you, tipping forward, maybe keeping the toes on the mat. Arms can come out to a T. They can come out in front of you. You can come into prayer hands. Once you've come into your warrior shape, if you wanna add a little bit more strength building, you can 
pulse that right leg up and down a few times. And then come back to a still position. Big inhale here. And on the exhale, plant that right foot next to left. Shake the legs out. And we'll do that same thing on the other side. Root that right leg down. Step that left foot back, maybe keeping the toes on the mat, maybe lifting the leg. Hips are nice and even, finding your hand position. And then choosing whether you want to do the pulsing. Completely optional here. Coming to stillness, big inhale here. And on the exhale, release the pose. Shake everything out. And come back to that neutral position. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Allowing those arms to dangle. Feeling that engagement from the bottoms of the feet through the backs of the legs, from the tailbone through the crown of the head. Inhale to come halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back to a plank position, coming through the top of the push-up, maybe adding push-ups, maybe coming into up dog. We'll meet in down dog. And once you're back in down dog, pedaling the feet, noticing how the second down dog feels. And we'll meet in a still down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale to drop that right foot over the left hip, rolling the hips open. Inhale, extend the leg out to level the hips. And on the exhale, step that right foot through to the hands, swiveling that left foot to a 45 degree angle. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Right hip is drawing back, left hip is drawing forward. On an exhale, come into warrior two, gazing over that right hand. Flip that right palm up, inhale here, exhale, tip back, peaceful warrior. Left arm can come down left leg or hook onto the back of the right hip. Big inhale here, exhale, come through the T, bringing that Right arm on top of the left leg, or right leg. Left arm comes up and over. From here, we're gonna come into Firefly, bringing that left hand to the inner right foot, swiveling the back toes to track straight, sweep that right arm up. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, windmill that right hand outside of right foot, stepping back to plank, choosing your transition. You can always go right from plank into down dog. We'll meet in down dog. And once you're back in down dog, notice how that right side of the body feels compared to the left. And inhale, left leg up. Dropping left foot over right hip, rolling the hips open on this side. Inhale, extend the leg out, and on the exhale, step that left foot through to the hands, swiveling the right foot to track to a 45 degree angle. Warrior one on this side. Nice strong warrior arms here. Inhale here, exhale, warrior two, gazing over that left hand. Shoulders right over hips. Flip the left palm up. Inhale there, exhale to tip back. Peaceful warrior. Big inhale here. Exhale, come through the T. Left arm comes on top of left leg. Right arm up and over. So lots of side body opening today. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, plant that right hand, the inner left foot, 
swiveling those right toes to track straight. Sweep the left arm up. Really pressing into that right palm to make sure you're not dumping into the shoulder socket and that the arm is engaged. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, windmill that left hand outside of left foot, stepping back to plank or maybe table. And we'll meet back in down dog. And keep in mind in down dog, if you feel pressure or irritation on the wrists, you can take a wider stance with the feet Bring the feet a little closer to the hands or place the hands on blocks. Once you're in down dog, inhale right leg up. Exhale to step that right foot through to the hands. Swivel that back foot flat. Inhale up, back to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to straighten that right leg. Lengthen the torso over that leg to tip into triangle. Pressing the torso slightly back, trying to still bring that left hip forward, right hip back. One more inhale here, one more exhale. On the next inhale, we're gonna come back up to that T shape and swivel the toes to face the long side of the mat. Hands come to the hips, take an inhale to look up. And on the exhale, hinging from the hips and pressing the hips a little bit back, fold in. You wanna keep a little softness in the knees. You can gently just bring the fingertips onto the floor of the mat and do a few pulses of the hips back. And what we're doing here is just getting a little bit of dynamic stretch on those inner legs. Feet are rooted onto that mat. Come to a still position and take the toes and angle them out slightly so the heels are coming towards each other. And then come back to that little bit of a pulse, just noticing how it changes the stretch. One more pulse and then come back to that still position you're welcome to adjust the toes to face the front of the mat or keep them pointed. And then we're gonna fold in a little bit more, bringing the crown of the head a little closer to the mat, maybe walking the feet, uh, the hands between the feet, taking a breath or two in this wide angle fold. On an inhale, look forward, walk the hands under the shoulders, Slowly start to roll the torso up. And then sweep the arms overhead into that Y shape. Big inhale here. And on the exhale, palms come together, dropping the palms over the heart center and either heel toe the feet back together or jump the feet back together. Beautiful. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Shaking everything out. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands. This time we're just gonna step right back into down dog. Pedaling the feet a couple times. And then coming to a still down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale to step that left foot through to the hands, swiveling that right foot flat. Inhale, arms up. Warrior one on this side. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straightening the left leg, lengthen the torso over that leg to tip into triangle. Still thinking about getting that left hip to come back, right hip to come forward and pressing the torso slightly back. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, windmill the hands either side of the left foot. This time when we step back to plank, we'll bring the knees to the outside edges of the mat, big toes come together, press the hips back to come into child's pose. 
or frog's pose, an active child's pose. You can keep the arms extended. You can also wrap the arms around the legs, or you can bring the palms together over the crown of the head. Taking a few breaths in rest. Two more full breaths here. And then slowly come back to table, bringing those knees back under the hips. Wag the tail once or twice. And then put a cross in the ankles, roll over the legs. And we'll bring the knees towards the ceiling, hands right outside of the hips. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. Coming back to a center position, we're going to bring the feet wide at least as wide as the hips, maybe even wider, as long as it feels okay on the hips. And then you can either plant the hands back by the hips or bring the hands over the heart center. I like to interlace my fingers. And we're gonna come into 90-90 mobility knees, bringing the knees over to the right, just to the point of sensation. Inhale through center and over to the left. We'll do this dynamically, shifting side to side. So the other thing we're doing today, besides that opening up of the side body, is also a lot of hip mobility and activation. One more time to each side. And then come back to that center position. You can bring the feet back close and then windshield wiper the knees a couple more times. Coming back to that center position, we're going to come into either a reverse table or a reverse plank. I like to have my fingertips facing forward, press into the palms, press into the feet as you lift the hips up. Reverse table is with the knees bent, reverse plank is with the feet trying to plant onto the mat or the floor. Toes are pointed, head can drop back, gaze can be forward. One more inhale here, and on the exhale, release the pose. And we're going to come into a cobbler's pose, or a bound angle, bringing the soles of the feet together. And you can play around with how close the feet are to the, to the body. Interlace the fingers around the toes, and fold in. Few breaths here. Try to keep a little bit of length on the spine, especially that low spine. Take one more inhale here, one more exhale. Bring the torso back up. Hands come under the knees, scoop the knees together. Plant the feet on the mat. And then grab your giant imaginary beach ball we're going to come onto our backs using this beach ball to control the motion of coming down one vertebra at a time. And once you're down, draw the knees into the chest. You can rock side to side a few times. Make some small circles on that low spine. Come back to that center position, hug the knees in, take an inhale to bring forehead to knees, and on the exhale, release head, neck, and shoulders. And we're going to come back to the cobbler's pose with the soles of the feet together, knees wide. This time we're going to do a bridge pose with the legs as they are. Arms come along your sides. Think about really pressing the feet towards each other. That'll help activate the legs. And then when you're ready, lift the hips. And this lift can be pretty subtle. It can be as high as you'd like, as long as you're not arching that low back. 
Go ahead and release the back onto the mat. We'll do this a couple more times. Inhale to lift up. Take a breath or two here. Exhale to release. One more time. Inhale on the lift. Take a couple breaths here. And exhale as you bring the back on the mat. And then bring the knees towards the ceiling. You can windshield wiper the knees a couple more times here. And then come right into happy baby, bringing the knees wide towards the chest, maybe grabbing ankles, arches, calves, maybe rocking side to side. And we'll meet back in a center position. Hug the knees in. We're coming into final relaxation. If you want to grab an extra layer, now's a good time. You can allow the feet to find the corners of the mat if you want the legs extended. You can bring the feet wide, knees to rest on one another, or you can come back to that cobbler's position. Wherever you're at, Integrate everything you've done. Coming back to the breath and taking rest. And I'm going to sit up. You all can stay laying down. Slowly start to deepen your breaths. Gently rolling your head side to side. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. Rotate wrists and ankles. And sweep the arms overhead to take a full body wake up stretch from the tips of the fingers all the way through the toes. And roll onto your side. Knees can be bent, legs can be extended. Find your way up to a comfortable seated position. Eyes are closed, gaze can be down. Bringing the palms together over the heart center. Thumbs resting on the sternum. Taking a few more deep cleansing breaths here. Revisiting what your intention was. And taking a few more breaths to reflect on something or someone you're grateful for. And I thank you for sharing this practice with each other and with me this morning. And may the light in me honor the light in each of you. Namaste.